Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cake Talk TV. My name is Christina and I own Aspen Charm Cakes and Pastries here in Denver, Colorado and I support cake designers in helping them grow a profitable and successful cake business, charging $8 to $12 per slice for their cakes, and growing and having a cake business that they love. If you're new here to Cake Talk TV, uh, make sure that you subscribe down below so you never miss another episode and you enjoy this amazing content that I have for you. And today we're gonna be talking about how to work faster on your cakes. Now, one thing that I find with a lot of cake designers, with my clients, my customers, and just the whole industry in general, is that there's never enough time to complete your cake orders. Uh, you're working way until the uh, night, even the morning, you're stressed out, and you just find that you never have enough time to get it all in enjoy your life, and really just successfully complete your cake orders in a decent amount of time. And I've gone through this same type of experience with my cakes, and I had to really find how to be more productive and efficient in my cake business. And that's what I wanna share with you here today is to really help you work faster on your cake so you are getting more done in less time. Uh, one thing that I also want to share with you in this video for why you need to learn how to work faster on your cakes is so you can book and have more cake orders. Now, if you wanna think about it, if you want to have more cakes in your schedule, book more cake orders, you're going to need to have more time to work on those cake orders. And if you are struggling to complete your cake orders on time as is, it's really gonna be difficult for you to actually have more cakes um, in your schedule and book more orders. It's just gonna really make you feel more overwhelmed than you're currently experiencing right now. And that's the only way to grow your cake business is to one, book more cake orders, and two, charge more for your cakes. And you want to actually work these both in your favor so you're making more money in your cake business. Now, I'm gonna get into the three steps for how you can actually book more cake orders and actually work faster on your cakes. So number one is eliminate visual distractions. Now, um, when I was growing my cake business, uh, Aspen Charm Cakes and Pastries, one thing that I would do uh, while working on my cakes would be to turn on my iPad, uh, turn on Netflix, and watch um, a TV episode, a YouTube video, or anything like that. Um, at the time, um, it was once upon a time, I actually watched the entire series uh, just working on cakes. But I found that whenever I had visual distractions while I'm looking you know, down on a cake or anything like that, I would work slower. And therefore, I wasn't getting a lot of cakes done. So one thing that I suggest that you do is to eliminate those visual distractions so you're only focused on what's in front of you because you're multitasking but you're not doing it in a productive way um, one thing that you can do is to turn on an audiobook or like a YouTube video that doesn't require you to actually focus down and look at the screen. Um, I find that that just helps me stay more focused, listen to music, so then I'm actually getting more done and not being so distracted. Another thing that you can do to work faster on your cakes is to block out specific time for your cakes and make that your top priority to get X, Y, Z done during that block. I teach a lot in my courses about time blocking for your schedule and how you need to implement it in your schedule so you're getting more done with your cakes. And what do I mean by this? Um, for instance, say that you're working a full-time or a part-time job. You have kids that you have to take care of. You have other priorities outside of your cake business and you need to complete your cake orders in your business. You need to block out that time um, and a specific time to get specific tasks done. For instance, um, on Mondays is the day that you bake your cakes. You need to block out all of that time to only work on baking your cakes. Whenever you're delegating a specific task, your brain, um, and you can only have that time frame to get it done, your brain is really going to see, I need to get this done in this time frame. It's gonna really focus on knocking everything out. You're gonna work faster. 
So one thing that I learned um, by default for how actually fast I can work, I was on a food competition um, on the Food Network channel and whenever you're on a show, uh, you have to work extremely fast. And one thing, um, you have a time frame, um, it's actually longer than what they show on TV, but it's still very, really short. And you have to do a lot of things um, in that specific time frame. I noticed that I had to work extremely fast in that small time frame. And you're just like, really at it you're just really focused on getting something done because you are against the clock you want to apply that to your cake business and after i was on the show i was on sugar showdown i actually realized that i am not working fast enough on my cakes and i came back from the show with that skill to work faster on my cakes so try that out it works wonders because you're going to actually see i can get more done in less time which leads me to my last strategy for you is to batch your cakes and specific tasks that you're doing for your cakes and what do i mean by this you want to actually think about i'm going to bake all of my orders on one day during one time frame then i'm going to actually stack all of my cakes in another time frame and then design decorate my cakes in another batch you want to batch your tasks for your cakes so you're only focused on doing one thing in your cake business instead of baking for a cake order um, this time while you're actually designing a cake at the same time you're cleaning up and everything like that um, a lot of people think that multitasking is going to help you actually have more time or you're getting more done when really your mind is going from this task to this task to this task and it's taking more energy to actually focus on different tasks versus one task to completely and successfully get something done i've learned that whenever i batched all of um, baking all of my cakes doing my fillings and my buttercreams at one specific time stacking and filling my cakes designing my cakes and doing the finishing touches, I actually had more focus and I was able to get things done in a much productive and faster way. So which strategy do you feel that you're going to implement in your cake business and take action on that right away? I want you to comment down below because when you learn to work faster on your cakes, you're going to be able to book more cake orders and get more done. That's going to be the only way that you're going to grow your cake business is one, booking more cake orders and two, charging more for your cakes. I want to hear down below. And if you haven't already joined my Cake and Success Business Library, I want you to join down below because I have so many amazing resources, guides, a pricing checklist, social media, everything that you need to help grow your cake business inside of my free business library. I want you to join down below. It's completely free. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure that you click the subscribe button down below and make sure that you never miss another episode of Cake Talk TV. Again, my name is Christina and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.